Hey guys, this is Brad, and I thought we'd go ahead and do my top 10 fragrances for fall of 2011. Um, I actually did a video last year for um, fall. It was a pretty quick video. I actually did it on the 4th of July. <laughs> that must have been pretty ambitious last year to do that. And it was pretty short because my videos were pretty short last year. But uh, I'm going to try to do a more detailed length review of uh, these fragrances this time. Um, not going to be real long either, but uh, here's what I came up with. And once again, you know, since I am reviewing a lot of samples and fragrances, I probably won't even wear these very much this fall. But I think for the average guy, uh, these would be fine choices to check out. And Christo, this one's for you, buddy. Trasardi's Inside Man. Uh, really inexpensive tester that I purchased off of eBay. It's like 20 bucks, but uh, just a nice, simple coffee and woods fragrance. I think it'd be good for fall. Um, it's something worth checking out. Um, I think Krista actually did a full review of this one. Um, yeah, if you like coffee scents, that one's worth checking out. Uh, this one made my list last year, and I uh, decided to keep it. Very cheap, um, just a great fragrance for the price. Is there a corduroy? Um, you can get these pretty cheap. I got mine at TJ Maxx for like 10, 15 bucks, and look, it's like a four ounce bottle. So it's like a lifetime supply. Really nice uh, fragrance. It's got the spice and the vanilla. Um, so yeah, this one's a good one for fall. And uh, for Cedarwood fans, you want to check out He Wood from D Squared 2. Um, it's like a peppery woods fragrance. And it doesn't have the bite of Bang. I think it's tempered by the violet leaf. Uh, so if you tried Bang and found that one too harsh, this one cuts back, I think, a little bit on that, a little bit, and it's great to check out. He Wood from D Squared 2. Um, you know, I'm a pretty big fan of Kenza fragrances. I was tooting the Indigo for the summer, and for fall, I think it's time to check out a different Kenza fragrance. This one is Kenza Um Voice, which means woody. I get like a, like a woodsy smell but also like oh, some kind of like an oriental vibe to it and a little citrus so really interesting scent i like this one quite a bit not easy to find but you know if you do uh find this one i hope that uh you're like me and found the journey you know worth worth it because that's pretty nice um another one that i liked a lot for last year's list and i kept this one as well one of the uh jewels of my collection just because I don't think anybody else really seems to have it or talk about it. That's Ted Baker's Endurance. Um, basically just a very invigorating um, ginger fragrance. I know a lot of people during the summer were wearing um, Dior Ohm Sport. Uh, this is a lot different than that one. This one to me is more woodsy than citrusy like uh, Sport was. So um, this one's a good one for fall in my opinion. Um, Hard to find in the United States, but if you live in Britain, maybe it's a little bit easier to find. You could probably shop online and find this one from like a European dealer if you don't mind um, having it shipped overseas. I got mine off of eBay. Got kind of lucky. Don't really see it on eBay either anymore. So, yeah, I'm really glad I was able to pick that one up. Uh, as far as niche goes, uh, I think I have two niche here, and this is the first one I'm going to mention. A lot of people put this for summer. I actually think it leans a little bit more towards uh, fall. Carrie's Aventus, smoky pineapple, uh, worth checking out for fall, I think. Um, this is one I think Katie Puttrick mentions, and I, I think it's a great one. It's almost like the closest thing I have designer-wise uh, for like a alternative to Aventus, Donna Karen. It says Donna Karen Men. I think it's also known as Fuel. So it's a little confusing, you know, what you're getting here, um, but this one... What I have here it has like a like a petrol pineapple smell to it, kind of like a Fahrenheit blended with uh, pineapple. Really nice. Uh, Dan's favorite one, Vetiver Tonka, made my list. Um, I think fall is great for this one. A little bit of sweetness in the vetiver. Um, I decided to add Donna Karen. I mean uh, Calvin Klein's Man, Smoky Mint. I like this one. And uh, number one. Um, I went with Dolce and Gabbana as the one. Just another great pineapple fragrance. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching.